Hello everyone. Today we will see um, sound generated by Atrino Uno and um, this is a uh, an famous uh, Star Wars R2D2 uh, sound that I am going to show and how to generate and let's um, see uh, how we can do it. We have to use a small speaker. Uh, it can be a toy speaker. Uh, you can cannibalize it from one of the toys. Uh, it can be like 8 or it can be like an 8 ohm speaker or like 0.5 watts or a 1 watt speaker anything that you can use and uh, um, you need to solder a wire a hookup wire to the speaker and then we can put it onto the Arduino Uno it's a minimal hardware project that anyone can do um, by following the instructions so the sound with the Arduino Uno is generated by uh, by a pulse width modulation wherein the uh, unlock waves are kind of constructed with a kind of pulse in a square waveform and that's how sound is generated. Uh, we will first solder the wires onto the speaker pin um, and hookup wire will be the best option to do uh, so that you can um, insert it right onto the Arduino Uno PCB. So let's uh, solder these wires on. Once we solder the wire like this, let's uh, hook this up uh, into the Arduino Uno pin and I have used an LED external because my LED in Arduino Uno has been blown out pin number 13 comes by default with an LED that's uh, on the board itself but mine is blown out so I am using an external LED for you guys to show I have uh, hooking the uh, LED to pin number 13 and ground the reason why I choose 13 is that uh, you can see a ground is nearby 13 so you can use that to hook up the external LED and the peak speaker output pin uh, is uh, pin number 12 and to the ground so you just uh, that's it this is the um, exact hardware that's uh, that's sufficient and once you load the program it's gonna uh, sound Now let's look into the code. Look into the Arduino Uno code. Like we can um, define the speaker pin and the LED pin. I have defined the LED pin as 13 because if you look at Arduino Uno, the, there is a ground pin next to it. And I have connected an external LED from pin number 13 to the ground because in my Arduino Uno, by default, the Arduino Uno comes with a, with a embedded LED on the board it's like SND LED but mine is blown out so I thought like I connect an external one uh, for you guys to show uh, it's blinking and and if you see the uh, speaker pin I have selected pin number 12 and if you can you can always select like 10 or 8 all the pin works I'll check um, that as well and the other thing is that uh, we define the pin mode in the setup. Setup is the preparation part of the Arduino Uno program code. So in this preparation, we uh, tell the code like what is going to be the pin and what's going to be the um, output, what's going to be the input. And we have uh, done a function with random seed, which is a pseudo random pseudo uh, sequence generator. And um, we have done two phrases here in this Arduino code. Um, in this video, I'm not going to jump 
more or i'm not going to jump deep into the arduino codes if you guys want you can always let me know in the comment and i can carry out a whole new session of explaining these codes so we have like uh, two phrases and we are just running these phrases in loop in, ra in a random sequence by using the switch statement here in the void loop category like you see we got like um, cases one to six and we have the two phrases that we define in the in the um, uh, in the sections before right before the void loop and then these uh, phrases just um, keeps looping and continuously play and it generates the sound now the sound is generated by the Arduino Uno though it is digital is that it uses pulse width modulation and this modulation is sort of, it, it, this modulation makes the uh, um, coil of the speaker to vibrate and that's how you are getting the sound from the Arduino Uno so the pulse width modulation is like a what you call you kind of like slice the pulse out um, in a kind of like a um, analog form and it will be like multiple squares building that unlock sine waves that's what like pulse width modulation is and that is how this uh, sound is generated if you guys want you can play around with this code you can cut uh, you can um, edit the phrases up and down or you can uh, edit the time sequence or the delay sequence here to generate a different kind of sounds maybe and you can try to play with it so by doing so you learn a lot let me know guys if you want a if you want a in-depth explanation i can always do that but that's going to be a whole lot of session because um it needs more things to be i mean it has to be um, uh, in depth in details only then you can understand because if I start explaining now it's gonna uh, drag the entire process and it will be in bits and pieces so do let me know in the comments so that I can carry an uh, other session with the course explaining things and how it works that's all about it today guys uh, thanks for watching my video as always do like share and comment and show your thoughts so that I can improve myself thanks and stay safe guys see you soon